Gold Insiders, it's your man Silicon, and I welcome you all to the Silicon Insider YouTube channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hit on the post notification to get to see my new videos whenever I post. If you're already a subscriber, don't forget to smash the like button and comment as well. In today's video, I'll be giving you some useful Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts can make life easier when you're navigating your computer. There are simple ones like Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. There are also lesser use shortcuts that could be just as useful. Coming up on Silicon Insider, I'll show you some useful keyboard shortcuts that can be used on your Windows computer that is going to save you time and increase productivity. And for the first time ever, I will be putting timestamps in the description video. So if you'll ever need to come back to this video, all you gotta do is just click on the timestamp to take you directly where you need to go. Without out of the way, let's get started. Let's start off with an easy one, guys. If you're like me, sometimes you have several programs open at the same time. To easily scroll through those programs, hold down the Alt and Tab key at the same time and keep pressing the tab with the alt held down until you find the program you want and let's go both keys after a fresh start up on the computer you might want to go to my pc my documents or open the file explorer now to do that whilst holding the windows key you press on the e if you are in the program and you want to see a desktop all you have to do is whilst holding down the windows key you tap on the d now if you want to bring it back do the same thing whilst holding down the windows key you tap on d many of you are familiar with the snipping tool built into windows that allows for capturing a part of your screen a quicker way to take a snippet with the latest versions of windows 10 is to hold down the windows key plus shift plus s you see that the cursor is replaced with the plus icon. Just left click on the mouse and select the portion of your screen that you'd like to capture and then let go. Now this will automatically be copied on the clipboard. Now to save it, you just have to paste it in any of your editing tools. Then you save it from there. Here's a shortcut that works with every browser I've tried it on. If you have multiple tabs open, after you exit those tabs, you didn't intend to if you want to bring them back on you just have to press on ctrl plus shift plus c all the same time and then these tabs will automatically be coming up if you want to switch users or log out of your caring login all you have to do is by pressing the windows key you hit on the l button it just logs out if you want to log in again you just press your enter and you just log in again to those that like multitasking, let's say you want to watch YouTube videos while doing that you want to scroll your file explorer, all you have to do is by holding the windows key you press on the arrow key depending on where you want to go, let's say this I wanted to go to the right side whilst holding the windows key I press on the right arrow keys. Then I come back to this one the file explorer then whilst holding the windows key I press on the left and I can do the two things at the same time instead of going to the start menu for setting by pressing the windows key plus i it opens windows key plus a the action center opens as we get older our vision gets worse now to magnify a portion of your screen you place your cursor at the place you want to be magnified while holding the windows key you press on the plus sign if you want to zoom out while holding the windows key you press on the minus sign let's take a look at the taskbar there are several apps you can open these with a quick shortcut all you have to do is know how far it is from the left if you want to open the file explorer turn from the left one two by holding the windows key you press on number two if you want to hide it you press it again if you want to open the Microsoft Store by holding the Windows key, you press on number two. If you want to hide it again, you do the same thing. Now this 
quick shortcut was for all the apps that are pinned on the taskbar. And before I end, I'd like to give you a bonus one. If you want to know the size of a video or a file of anything or of a group of files, all you have to do is by selecting the file, the exact one you want to know the properties, you have to press on the Alt, then the Enter. Now, if you want to close, just press on the Escape. If you want to know the properties of the whole file by holding the Control, you press on A to select all. Now, holding the Alt, you press on Enter. You're going to know the full properties. And here comes the end of the video guys. Thanks y'all for hanging in with me. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to smash the like button, comment and share this video. Silicon Insider signing out.